Hello everyone and welcome to a short video on how to switch out existing biomes resources with your own. Before we get started, I'd like to let you all know that in 3 days there will be an 80% off sale for our world building bundle. This bundle includes all our major tools, so if you're interested in getting those, check out the link in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is to have a scene with the biome you would like to copy in it. In this tutorial we're using the Alpine Meadow biome, but in your own uh, application of this, you can use anything, any bomb you would like. So we're going to generate our world here. We can spawn our biome on this. And we might as well create our runtime. All right, so now let's say we would like to replace some of the trees in this biome to make our own new biome. The first thing you're going to want to do is change the name of the biome to what you would like. So in our case, we're going to call it new. And it's going to ask you whether or not you want to rename all the child spawners as well. We're going to say yes. And there, now you can see that all the child spawners that have that same name have been renamed, with the exception of Guy Pro, because that was a separate spawner in name in the first place. So we are going to go to our trees. You can see we have more trees than we would like here, so we're just going to delete them for the purposes of this video. So we're going to delete these last three. And the application for this is like, okay, I really like these rules. I don't want to go to the effort of setting up all these new rules. And instead, what you can do is simply uh, copy these rules and substitute your own resources. So we're, we have these beech trees here and we're just going to drag the beech tree prefabs into the pre-existing rules under resource settings. So there you go. That's the first. And you can do this with any of the rules and more often than not you'll want to change out many of the rules. So you'll maybe delete the VFX, delete the audio, delete the flowers, keep the grass and replace those, uh, replace the ferns, replace the bushes, remove the mushrooms, and you'll create this new biome with all your own stuff um, through this sort of workflow. Um, so we want to now save this biome so we can use it wherever we want. Now to do this, we're simply just going to go to the advanced, save and load, save biome preset. It'll save it to Gaia user data biomes by default, and that's just fine for us. And I tell you that these new these spawners already exist in the project elsewhere. And because we'd want to um, maintain the spawner that we had just copied, or the biome rather, we're going to, instead of overwriting the existing, create new copies. All right, and now as you can see, we have our perfectly good new biome here. And that will have um, absorbed or uh, take into account all the changes that we need, that we made. So the changes in the trees by our spawner. And there you can see all our changes. So that's how to set up a, how to replace a biome's resources with your own and then save it as a new biome. 